Hi friends, today we are here to discuss a program to move all the zeros to the end of the array. Uh, just consider an array like this with some random numbers as elements. Then we, what we have to do is to push all the zero elements to the end of the array. Now uh, how we are going to do this is that first we will check for the non-zero elements and we will move all the non-zero elements to the front end of the array and then we will update all the remaining index position with zero. So we can move to the program. Uh, here we have an array of size 100 declared. Then we have a variable n to store the limit of the array. Then we have two iterating variables i and j. j is initialized with zero. Then we have an if statement and we are reading the limit of the array. Then we are reading the array elements using a for loop. Then we have another for loop which will be traversing through this array to check for the non-zero elements. That is if AR of i not equal to zero. That is if the element is a non-zero element then AR of j plus plus equal to AR of i. Here we know that j plus plus is a post increment operation that is first we will perform ar of j equal to ar of i then we will perform j plus plus actually the purpose of the variable j that is j is actually counting the non uh, non-zero elements in the array it is every time this if statement becomes true j will be incremented the, uh, when the if statement becomes true the element in the array is a non-zero element that is j is actually counting the non-zero elements in the array. Then after the execution of this for loop, all the non-zero elements will be moved to the front end of the array. Which we can just uh, look through the iterations performed for this set of elements. For i equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus. Here uh, n will be 10. Uh, so i equal to 0, i 0 less than 10 is true, then array of 0 not equal to 0, that is 0th position we have a non-zero element, so array of 0, j is initialized with 0, array of 0 equal to array of 0, that is 1 will be moved to the position 0, actually 1 is there in itself, uh, so j will be incremented to 1 after this, uh, in this if statement, then we will have i incremented to 1 for i equal to 1 1 less than 10 is true so we will check the if statement array of 1 not equal to 0 in the index position 1 we have a 0 so this if statement becomes false then we will increment i for i equal to 2 it is in the index position 2 we have a non-zero element so we will so the if statement will become true then ar of 1 equal to AR of 2. That is, 2 will be moved to a position 1. Then, uh, J will increment to 2. I will increment to 3. I, when I is 3, if statement becomes false, then I will come 4. For a, I equal to 4, if statement becomes true, then AR of 3, AR of 2 equal to AR of 4. That is, 3 will be moved to the post index position 2. Then 4 will be moved to the index position 3. And 5 will be moved to the index position 4. So we have the value of j as 4. Uh, so sorry. We have the value of Yes. Five. So we have the count of non-zero elements as five. So next what we have to do is that we have to update all the remaining index positions with zero. That's done by a while loop while j less than n ar of j plus plus equal to 0. Here also j plus plus is a post increment operation. So first we will perform ar of j equal to 0. Then we will increment j. So j will be containing the number of non-zero elements. So we will have all the non-zero elements in the front end and 0 to the end of the array.
now we have just had to print the array so we can run the program End of the number of elements and here you can see the output array is one, two, three, four, five, zero.